couple quick travel tips for y'all from somebody who's driven across the U.S. many times, chasing shutdowns, turnarounds, big jobs, and just going on vacation in general. Rule number one, if you were going through mountains or hilly terrain at any point you had been paying attention to the GPS, and all of a sudden you need to take a left turn in 800 feet, I suggest you take that left turn at 800 feet, okay? Because when you're in the hillside, when you're on those mountain roads, the next time that you're going to actually get some good directions after that GPS updates, it's probably six valleys and three ravines and two counties over. Okay, and the way that it's going to take you back to where you were supposed to go is past Billy Ray Bob's peach stand out in Cooter or nowhere. And trust me, The Hills Have Eyes may have been a movie, but it could have been a documentary. Some of you are not ready for what you're going to see out there. Tip number two, buy yourself a radar detector so you know where the police are before they see you. Okay, it's like this. Not everybody's going to speed. I personally do not suggest that you speed at any point in your trip, okay, because you're knocking off what? 10 minutes and a two hour trip, who cares? Just 10 minutes. Uh, but the thing of the matter is I do speed. I wouldn't even call it speeding, honestly. I would call it soaring. Okay, if my radar detector for some reason stops working and I don't know and I get pulled over, I'm not getting a ticket. I'm getting towed and potentially a felony. On to tip number three. You gotta hit the big four gas stations, okay? You're gonna have to stop, get gas, diesel, food, bathroom breaks, things like that. You might as well get everything you need at one place. So, big four, Loves, Pilot, TA, and my personal favorite, Buxies. They are few and far between, but it is one of the only gas stations. You can get homemade fudge, freshly smoked brisket, damn near a massage in some of them. Okay, they have every single drink that you can possibly think of. You're bored, you want to stretch your legs a little bit more? Home goods section. Okay, clothing section. Grilling section's over there. You want to watch a show? Just stand in there for 10 minutes. These people are pretty much paid actors. They are putting on a show the whole entire time you're in there. All I'm saying is, it is the redneck mecca of gas stations, and you need to visit one if you have not. But uh, that is my three major tips for traveling. And honestly, a long road trip, nothing makes it better than a good radio station or something like that. But make sure your co-pilot understands that they don't need to pay every single hit song and song y'all enjoy in the first 30 minutes of the trip. Throw some random shit in there. Don't fucking give me top number one hits in the first two hours of the trip, and then we have to re-listen to that shit for the next 11. Mix it up a little bit. Throw me a wild card. You want to listen to Nelly? Go straight to Hank Williams. Keep me guessing. Y'all have a good trip. If you're taking one, try and use these tips. It'll make it a little bit better.